guys and welcome to Bubble Pop Kids. So a couple weeks ago I made an Orbeez putty slime, whatever you want to call it. It was so cool and I did it with clear glue. But today I want to make it with some pink and clear. And over here I have one of my favorite ponies, Princess Twilight Sparkle. There she is with all of these cute little decorations because after we make that Orbeez pink putty, we are going to be putting it in a jar and decorating it My Little Pony style. Let's start this and I'll give you step-by-step -step instructions so you can do it at home and just make sure you have a parent or adult with you to help you along the way. So you need a clear mixing bowl. I have one bottle of Elmer's Clear School Glue. I'm going to dump this into the bowl. And I also have some Elmer's Glitter Glue. I'm going to mix these two together and hopefully we'll come out with a pink look at the end. <laughs> So here we go, we have this bowl filled with the clear glue and the glitter glue mixed together. And it looks so pretty. It looks kind of like sparkly lip gloss or bubble gum. And it turned out just how I wanted. The two colors mixed together and made this light pink mixture. So the next step, I'm gonna get my Orbeez and sprinkle them in. Here they are, they're so squishy, love Orbeez. And I'm just gonna pour them in there. Woo! <laughs> looks so, so pretty. And just kind of whisk them together so they get stuck in the glue. A few more won't hurt. Give it a little more color. And mix. Ooh, look at that. That is so cool looking. And it's it's really pretty too because the, it you can actually see the Orbeez through the pink. I thought maybe the pink would block it and you wouldn't be able to see them but they're coming through really nice. Looks like slime already. Next, I'm gonna get one cup of water and I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of the Borax laundry detergent. There's the half teaspoon and another and mix it around till it's all dissolved and it's kind of like a milky white solution when it's mixed together. So moving back to my Orbeez and glue mixture now, I'm going to pour in a little bit of the Borax solution. Let's see, mix this up a little more. Okay, and start mixing it together. And usually when I've made this before, because I made this a while back with just clear glue, it starts forming into putty or slime right away. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> it looks like flubber. So cool, wow, it's like one big blob. Ah, some Orbeez popped out. They ran away, let's just mix in. Now I think I'm just gonna get in there with my hand. Wow, <laughs> this is such a massive amount of putty that I'm making because I used the two bottles of glue. It is so amazing. I could do this all day, it kind of feels relaxing. All of the Orbeez are really sticking in there. It's so cool. Woo! Look, it's almost one piece already. Oops, some stayed at the bottom. They didn't want to stick in, but most of them, I'd say, are in there. Let me pour in another batch of the borax mixture. Ah! And mix it in. So cool. After about five minutes of mixing, here it is. Look at this Orbeez putty. Some of them fall out, but most of them are so stuck in there. The clear one was cute, but this one is so much better. I'm so happy I decided to make it. And you do see all of the glitter in there. It looks like a big blob of bubble gum. It is so stretchy, and this, ah! Some of them fell out. This piece is actually massive. It's huge. It's so relaxing just to play with this and squish it around.
love this part. I love this putty. It's so super stretchy. I could play with it all day. And I don't want it to dry out, so we're gonna jar it up and decorate the jar my little pony style. We're gonna put Twilight Sparkle on there. And, ah, sorry, Twilight. <laughs> and these cute little decorations here. It's gonna look so cute. So the first thing we're gonna do is jar this up. And I think there's so much Orbeez putty here that it is gonna fill this whole entire jar. Let's squeeze it in there. Maybe we'll do it in a couple pieces. It's so big. Oop, and it's gonna turn to fur putty like it always does. <laughs> it looks like I'm just stuffing blubber, bubble gum. It looks like a jelly. Ooh, we actually may have a little too much for this jar. Put it in there, hopefully it'll fit. Ooh. Ooh, and you can see the Orbeez floating in there. So glittery and pink. Kind of reminds me of Twilight Sparkle, this pinkish purple color. Okay, it's filled to the top. Now we can put the lid and start decorating. This looks so cool in here. I don't know, it kind of looks like there's little jelly beans floating around. It is so heavy. You have no clue how much putty is in there. I actually have an extra piece too. So the first thing I'm gonna do, if you watch my videos, you'll know that every time I decorate one of these putty jars, I love putting these gem stickers. It just makes it look a little fancy and adds a little pizzazz to it. So I'm gonna put these blue ones around the outside of the lid. Alrighty, so we have all of our bling on there. It's stuck on pretty tight. And we're gonna frost the top of the jar with some deco bling. This is like a frosting blue. It's gonna look really pretty. And I'm using the white color. Looks like we have some ice cream or froyo on top of there, so cute. And this is gonna take about five hours to dry. It's really wet right now. It kinda looks like white paint. Ooh, those are so pretty in there. I cannot stop looking at this. This is a really cool room decoration as well. So the next step, I'm gonna take my Twilight Sparkle and I'm gonna stick her right on the top. <gasps> How cute does she look on there? She matches so nice with the color of the putty or slime. So now I have a ton of little sparkly decorations, like these little ones and some hearts. I'm just gonna put them around the cake, ooh, <laughs> around the frosting, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of purple sparkle. Here are all those little geckos. I put this sparkly heart, little strawberry, this cute little girl here, little cherries, and a candy. And now I'm gonna take this matching purple glitter, I think it matches her perfectly, and sprinkle it on the frosting. We did it! Our My Little Pony Orby Sparkly Putty Jar. And look at this, it looks like a birthday cake. It's got all those little decorations and the sprinkles. And Twilight Sparkle is gonna need about six hours to dry, but once it's about six hours, she's gonna be stuck on here. And when you no longer have the putty, you could store your little pony figurines in here, lip glosses, you could use it as a pencil jar, so many fun options. And whenever you need to get to your putty, you could just take the top off. And it's right here. Ooh, look at that. We did it, guys. We made the putty. We decorated the jar. It was so much fun. And we're going to have so many more fun videos to come. We are Bubble Pop Kids. 
and you can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye.